everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J, and today I'm going to be reviewing Chanel's newest foundation. This one is called the Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Longwear, and this is the packaging. I think it looks very sleek, very Chanel-esque, and here is the product. Boom! So I ordered this from Chanel's website. And you all know if you order high-end makeup from their website, they give you a little special bag or a little box from time to time. So they sent me this little bag, and this is what had my foundation in it. I was hoping for a box, but the bag is cute too. But the packaging is so on brand with Chanel. It's very minimalistic, and it has the CCs at the top of the cap. So I'm excited to be trying out this foundation because Chanel has really been coming out with really nice formulas. And every time they reformulate, here lately I've been in love with it so I'm excited to be trying this product out today so this foundation retails for $60 and we have one fluid ounce of product in here and there are 35 different shades of this foundation so I did end up getting another shade of foundation than I typically get because I have absolutely no tan whatsoever right now so the shade that I got is BD 51 and normally I get BD 61 but that's about a shade and a half too dark for me right now and this one is a pretty good match also this foundation is comprised of about 40% water so this is a hydrating foundation that also has ingredients that are supposed to moisturize and smooth your complexion so I'm excited to be trying it out because I love a hydrating foundation especially as we go into the winter months I want to keep a little bit of glow and so if this foundation is going to help me do that I'm excited to try it and let you guys know my thoughts on it I do want to add that I have tried this foundation out a few times before so I already have a general thought process of what I think about it but I want to share with you all what I think about it so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the demonstration of this foundation that way you all can see me apply it it does have a pump on it so I'm gonna be pumping out this foundation so let's go ahead and get into it and let me know if you all plan on picking up this foundation down in the comments section and I will check you all in a minute enjoy as per usual I always shake my liquid foundations I have my dish and I'm gonna go in with two pumps I love the way Chanel foundation products smell. They just smell good to me. So I have my BK Beauty sponge and I'm just going to pick up some of this product on the booty of the sponge and apply. It's very glowy. I like this color match and I like how it looks when I first apply it. It gives me a nice glow and you all can see that on this side and it's not apparent on that side. I'm going to take two more pumps. I'm going over here. So far, I think this looks really pretty. It's giving a nice glow, and I think it gives a nice amount of coverage. It's definitely a light to medium buildable coverage foundation. And I can still see some of my imperfections, but I think that my skin looks like skin. So I'm just going to take like a half a pump more and apply that on my forehead. I'm just going to blend, blend around the perimeter. Make sure that my forehead has a nice amount of coverage. So here we go. Foundation blended out nicely. It looks very glowy. It blended out really pretty with the sponge. I do feel like you could use a little bit less product if you had a brush to use with this foundation. But either way, it's a nice light to medium coverage foundation. I think it looks really pretty. I don't think it's sitting on top of the skin. And it feels very lightweight, but I can still see some imperfections peeking through. So it definitely has a skin-like finish. So I like that it's giving me some radiance because right now I don't feel like I have a lot of that. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my makeup on top and I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay, this is what we're looking like with all of our makeup on. I will have all of my makeup details in the description box. But I think I look really pretty and just everyday fresh. Like, I think that my skin looks very nice. It looks very healthy. It has that nice glow to it. And the products on my skin feel very breathable. So for days when I don't want a lot, I'm liking the way that this feels and the way that it looks. So I'm going to do check-ins and I'll come back every so often and let you guys see what everything is looking like. I'm actually about to head off to an episode of Behind the Beauty. So I hope that you all are tuning in and catching those episodes because we have so many amazing guests that are coming on this season but stay tuned and i'll check you back in a little while so you all can see the progress of this foundation but so far hour one i'm back and this is check-in numero 
uno. So it has been three hours and I think that my natural oils are starting to break through. I look a little bit dewier than I looked three hours ago, but I still think my makeup is holding up really nicely. I don't see where it has left anywhere on my face. I still think that I have a nice amount of coverage. I still think I look glowy, but not overly glowy. So overall, I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to check back in a few more hours and let you all see if there's any drastic changes. But for now, I think this is a normal amount of wear and tear that you should expect to see on a foundation so okay so I am back and it has been eight hours and I want to give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation but before we do that here's a quick once over of my foundation and I think it looks pretty good overall. I think that it is a nice, lightweight foundation that you can put on on a daily basis if you're running errands, if you're going outside, if you're wanting something to put on that's just nice and casual and glowy. I do think that this foundation is formulated quite nicely. I think that it lasted pretty well. I do feel like it has faded just a little bit on my chin area, but it's so slight. But I do want to make a note that it is not transfer resistant. So, you know, we have to wear masks nowadays. So if you're going outside, taking it on and off, please do not expect this foundation to last through that because it doesn't really make claims to be a long lasting foundation. And so I wouldn't really expect it to hold up through that because this is a glowier type foundation. It's very dewy and never really dries down. So it is gonna be prone to move and disappear off of the face if you have to wear a mask while you're wearing this product. But mask aside, if I'm looking at the formulation of it, it feels nice, it's very breathable. It does have a strong fragrance to it as most Chanel foundation products do. It has that same smell. I think it's a pleasant smell, but it is quite strong when you first apply it. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, or if you're just a person who's really not into that for your complexion products, then skip out on all Chanel complexion products because they all have that same scent. But if you don't mind it, like I really don't mind it because it doesn't really bother me and it doesn't break me out. I don't have a sensitivity to that. Then I enjoy it. If I want a flawless face, I wouldn't reach for this. But like I said, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm running a few errands, or if I'm just doing something pretty chill, like if I'm just going, you know, somewhere where I don't have to just be completely flawless, then I would reach for this because I do think that it's nice. I don't think it's a 100% must-have, but I do think that it's nice to have in my collection because I feel like you need to have a foundation wardrobe for all different occasions, and this one would be like my everyday. I'm going to the park type foundation because it gives you a nice amount of coverage but not too much to where your skin is still peeking through and I do feel like it wears nicely so let me know if you all plan on getting this foundation what are your thoughts on Chanel foundations I am beat so I'm about to take off my makeup and relax on the couch so I will check you all in my very next video which will be super super soon smooches bye